Hello, my friend. Welcome to Tube U Channel. Today, I will discuss something a bit different. It's about a dream. Do you have a dream? Certainly, everyone has dreams. Can you share your dream? I will express my dream using Stable Diffusion Web UI Automatic 11.11. Thanks to recent AI technology, with this tool, I can generate images based on my input prompts, even though I'm not an artist. To easily generate images using Automatic 11.11, I will use an extension called Prompt Generator. Go to extension, check if it is available, and if not, install it. Since I already have it installed, I will check Installed and then click Check for Updates. Afterwards, I will click Apply and Restart the UI. Sometimes, you may need to restart webuiuser.bat as well. Now everything is ready. I will use a resolution of 2048 times 2048 for most of the images. When I was very young, my first dream was to be able to fly. So I inputted a prompt of a man flying in the sky with a full body shot. It gave me several prompts. For a detailed introduction on how to use the prompt generator, please check my previous video. You can find the link in the description below. You might need to try several times to find a good prompt. Then I will scale the image to 2040 times 2040. Using the control net tear function, and the ultimate SD upscale function, upscaling from 512 times 512 to 2048 times 2048 is very easy, and it takes less than one minute. Using an RTX 2070 graphic card, it feels truly liberating to fly freely in the sky. However, upon waking up, I realized that without wings like a bird or a winged man, it would be incredibly challenging to fly. <laughs> Rest in peace. After that, I dreamed of becoming an astronaut. When I grew up, I wanted to change my face with another footer. To do this, I opened Photoshop and loaded two images. I selected the photo subject, press Alter, and dragged the mouse to delete some areas. Then I copied the photo image onto the astronaut image and scaled it to the appropriate size. After merging the images together, they didn't fit perfectly. Next, I selected the area I wanted to change and pressed Alter while dragging the mouse to delete some areas. The area in between was the blended area. I simply clicked the Generate button to generate an image and select a good one. The result showed that they blended together very well. However, I soon realized that becoming an astronaut was also extremely difficult. It requires training and extensive support from the country, or you could say it demands an unimaginable amount of money. End of the story. Afterward, I wanted to be a scientist inventing many new things and researching topics that a few can understand. <coughs> I have come somewhat close to this goal now, since I continue to research interesting subjects. However, after spending a long time abroad, what I mostly wanted was to return to my hometown. In my memory, it is a small village, also it has now transformed into a modern city. Nevertheless, the memories I cherish never fade away. Input the prompt, sweet home town, country town, and generate several prompts. Copy them to text to image, generate the image and select one that looks nice. In my sweet home town, there are several old houses located near a short road. Surrounding the houses are trees, and there are wooden electric pod standing nearby supports all the electric power for daily life. Whenever the time is right, I earn to go back to my hometown, like a migrant bird that always returns every year. To symbolize this, I decided to draw a bird resembling a crane. I then used this crane figure to create a mask. 
Now I will create a QR code using the specific technique mentioned in the description. Visit the home page that can generate QR codes. Input the URL that you want to link and change the size to the maximum. Choose high error correlation for better reliability. This time I will make a plain type QR code. Select the SVG format to download the image. Open the QR code along with the mask and the figure of my hometown. Copy them into the same image, placing them on different layers. I will name these layers as QR, mask, and filter, and create a white background. Delete the white area of the QR code and the mask, making them transparent. You can select the white color and delete the corresponding area. Select the area of the crane and the positioning area using the color select tool. Zoom in to see the detailed information. If the red area is too small, use the modified selection function to expand the selection by one or two pixels, covering the entire red crane area. If you make a mistake, you can use the undo function by pressing Ctrl Z. Adjust the size of the QR code and the mask for making them fit together. Remember to copy each layer when making edits to keep the original intact. Move the select layer to the QR code copy layer. Reverse the selection and delete the empty area. Now the remaining QR code includes your URL which can be checked using a QR code reader. By adding the photo below this layer, it becomes difficult to recognize the QR code due to the non-white areas. Let's make the empty area resemble the white crane. Move to the mask layer. Select the red area and change the active layer to the background. Reverse the selection and delete. The remaining background copy becomes the white crane. Delete the corner position area. Now the QR code copy and master copy too cover the entire area, making it easier to be recognized by a QR code reader. Now let's slightly modify the most important area to be a little transparent. Activate the edit in quick mask mode or click the icon to enable this function. Choose the red color and use the brush tool to select the area you want to make transparent. Deactivated the mask mode. Delete the QR code copy and the white background. Ensure that the QR code is still easily recognizable. Finally, export the image. In your dreams, I suppose there is always a girl you want to kiss. She is a country girl wearing a flower crown. Follow the similar procedure described above to create a QR code with her image. In your dreams, there is probably someone whose face you want to punch. He's young, handsome, imaginative, energetic, and ambitious. However, he's also lazy, arrogant, and dismissive of everything. In other words, you just want to slap his face again and again. I am a photo he took several years ago. Who is speaking? I'm too tired to hear something that doesn't exist. Okay, let's follow the procedure described above to create a QR code and save the image. Finally, we have the ultimate dream. I want to live in a city that blends old style charming with modern fashion and has abandoned the West to do anything I desire. I believe that traditional money won't last forever and the digital currencies like Bitcoin will become the future currency. Let's make this dream come true. Here I have prepared two types of Bitcoin. One is dark using red and blue color. The other is light yellow and light blue in color. Use these represent the black and white color for the QR code mask.
final image is like this. Although the QR code may not be perfect, it gives us the idea that we can blend two topics in one place. With the help of AI technologies, we can achieve a lot of things that we can't even imagine now. If you enjoy my content, please consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching.